everyone, it's Shay, and today we're looking at dresses, my absolute favorite topic. I feel like these websites, while they may be well known, it's not well known. Like, I didn't learn about these until last year, and these are just extraordinary dresses, whimsical, fairy tale like, that I feel like you guys would appreciate knowing about if you don't know about them, and just checking them out for yourself. So, we're just gonna go ahead and start gallery browsing all these dresses and finding which ones we like. And the prices might be a little high, of course, but that's why we're looking. So the first website I wanted to show everybody is Selkie. And just look at the website itself, how beautiful it is. They do a great job of just incorporating their image in the very beginning. These are the dresses that show up. Again, so those poofy princess dresses that you see everybody on Instagram wearing and on TikTok. This is basically the inspiration and possibly where they buy them. So cute. I personally love the color schemes. 286 and this is something that you can see the prices monet recycled 158 so these prices are definitely more mid to high end personally for me this is out of my price range i would not be able to purchase this myself Ooh, i love these puffers these are cute but selkie definitely has more pastels bold colors definitely the star of the show energy if you want that kind of energy walking in somewhere this is where you want to get those dresses. So right off the bat, I do like these dresses. I like the this one, the black sequin princess gown. Let's look at this. Oh, and they even go up to 3, 4, and 5X. So one thing I did forget to mention is Selkie does offer plus sizes, and they have a very great selection right here. I, a lot of stores don't have this, and they do, and that's phenomenal. And just this dress itself is just, oh look, the sizing chart. Awesome. The, these dress, like this dress in particular, I love how the cutout right here is short, but the the outside is long. Very, very whimsical, very much like princess walking through the woods, but the dark princess, if that makes sense. This is the first dress that showed up, and this one caught my eye because of the colors. It looks like watercolor and like the transparent. Just taking a glimpse through their tops. These I can, I see, I can see people wearing every day. This is definitely something that can be worn. Um... The prices, the prices aren't outrageous. This one's just on sale, but it's not outrageous because I've seen a lot worse. Anyways, for the styles, oh, and look at the coats. Oh my gosh. What I really appreciate about Selkie is just the color schemes, the coats, the cuts. Everything is just exquisite and it all matches the same style. And if you're looking for that aesthetic of like the princess, this is where you could find that. This coat is calling my name. I, if I had the money, I'd get this one. I love pastel blue, the baby blue. That is my kind of love aesthetic for clothing. And unfortunately, my wallet does not match that. So not today. We'll just keep scrolling. Anyways, that is Selkie. Check, check it out. Like, look at this. It's just so cute. They, get the, they have the color schemes. They have the prints, the vibes. It's all down. Honestly, I love it. Like this, if I had the money, I would. If I had, I would. Selkie, if you hear me, I see the 10% off. I'm gonna need a little bit more. <laughs> but I love you, Selkie. You did good. You passed the vibe check. So Selkie, I'm gonna rate it, um, I'm gonna rate it like eight and a half out of 10, just because I feel like these clothing, I won't be able to wear everywhere. I take it back. I'm, I'm knocking up to nine out of 10 because I went back and like the color and the prints and I can make it work. I can make this work. Okay, moving on. Oh, no, oh, stop, stop. Okay. Moving on, fairy tongue. Oh my god, stop. Hold on. Okay, moving on. Fairy tongue. Fairy tongue, it's in the name. Very much a fairy aesthetic. Nothing not more nothing more to be said. You understand. The color is just looking right off the bat on the front page. Ugh, look at this. Like the yellow. Unbelievable. Stunning. I love it. Oh, and look at that. Also very extensive and offers plus sizes and even custom sizes. That's very nice. Um, so 420 euros just to help you guys with the math, my fellow Americans. I am in the same boat. Let's just push this crunch these numbers. $476.35. So about $500 you'll be spending on a dress. And look at this though. It's just exquisite. The detailing. Can my, can my computer? Can my computer? I can. The tiny details. These dresses are so, so detailed. Look at this, like the little gold embroidery, the swirls with the little gold flowers. What caught my attention and what made me really like this dress was the ruching right here. And this little part right here, like the little thing falling, that little detail. I love it. 
these dresses are just so fun because of the cuts that off the cold shoulder but the cold shoulder is just elegant. Uh, I don't think I'd get this one though. We're pretending I'm, I'm purchasing a dress and I don't think this would be the dress. I think the dress for me was between this one and this one. We'll look, check both out. So this dress caught my attention because of the bottom and how floofy it looks. Just imagine spinning around in that dress. I like it. And it has that little detail right there I love. See the... I really appreciate dresses that have like the little see-through mesh on the outside. It's just that little that little added touch of drama and elegance and that's what I want in a dress. So I feel like this would definitely be a purchase for me if I were to buy anything. It'd be this one as well as this one. I wanted to take, take a look at this because I see some see-through mesh and that makes me a little nervous because I am definitely more, you know, conser conservative in my, just my personal preference. See, I think this is just slightly transparent on top. So that personally for me, I don't know if I'd want to wear that unless I was wearing shorts, but I do like this dress. I think it's cute. So, yeah, a little more sunlight and I would be flashing somebody. <laughs> I don't want to do that. This one I love. I think I took a screenshot on this on my Pinterest because of this part right here. The bottom part, I just love it the way it's cutting out and like it just shapes the silhouettes just so lovingly. It's just so nice. Like, tell me you don't see this, like, in the Victorian modern day era show somewhere. This one's so cute. From the front, it is very, very daring. But what I'm focusing on right now is just the sleeves. And most importantly, this part right here. Just the bottom, the cutout. It's kind of reminding me of that movie. What was the movie? Girl falls into New York from Pothole. Yes, Enchanted. I'm sorry. Not a pothole. This dress. I am envisioning this dress. It's not the exact, obviously. The colors are off, but it's the same aesthetic I'm getting from it, and I love it. Ladies, if you're getting married and you're on a budget, please hit up these websites. There is no excuse to not be wearing the dress of your dreams because of the price range when you can just be hitting these right here. Oh my gosh, this cutout. Oh, I love it. The back. If I were to rate Fairy Tong, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's just missing 0.5 because some of the things I feel like I don't see that price range when there's others that are cheaper that are much more magnificent. But again, personal preference, that's just me. The next website, Ivy City Co. This website's nice because it does give that Christian girl aesthetic, you know, that little conservatism, but it doesn't make it scream Christian girl conservatism, if that makes sense. I feel like we can see the difference between this and then this. This one definitely is more reminiscent of Chanel, classy and cute. The other one's definitely more autumn and boots and whatnot. Okay, so this dress is $135. Let's go see the sizing and all the options that they offer. Oh wow, and they're nailing it on the plus size. So it does go up to 3X, which is really nice. We got these. This is not really my energy. I don't like this for myself, but I definitely see someone like a Kardashian or, you know, that kind of bold aesthetic that would probably work better for someone like that i love flowy stuff i like little prints and cute little frills that's adorable i like that so much so they're, they're really nice they did a great job in showing this on uh, showcasing um the model and what size she's wearing and the measurements that's really nice i would appreciate if more websites did that come on i need help here online shopping Ooh, okay i like this this is a nice pattern this is very fun $118. That's not bad. That's now hitting the mall pricing. This is the pricing where if you had a little bit extra extendable cash, you can buy that. The other ones are definitely a little, little bit more pricier. This is definitely more in the range where we can say it's not breaking the bank. It's just busting it a little bit. Okay. If I were to buy one dress from this website, it would have to be this one. Why? Two things. The little bow right here, I love how it's cinching in and it's not in the centered, it's angled. So it just makes it very nice and accentuated. And these sleeves, look at how comfy and loose those look. It's not as, you know, outgoing and bold as the other dresses we've seen in other websites. Fitting in with the crowd, but having your own flair and taste, which is, I like that. I like this. I would definitely look into this. I, I love this one so much. The pastel blue. I would rate this website eight, eight and a half out of ten. Honestly, I have nothing bad to say against this <laughs> like this is a pretty solid website pretty pretty solid dresses the one thing i would say is do check the reviews there are some people saying stuff about fitting and sizing but that's with everything when you do online shopping so it's not that big of a deal 
and if i ever start making money off youtube you're coming home with me like look at this oh my gosh i'm jealous and my last website of the day this one i'm gonna go as fast as i can because there's a lot to go over it's my favorite designer. I love her so much, Taro Tamatoshi. She does such great designs. This one's a fun option. Pricing is definitely out there. So just a fair warning, but we're doing this for fun. We're not actually purchasing anything today. These are the dresses on your Pinterest. These are the ones you see on your TikToks when saying which dress would you dress if you were gonna battle somebody or go through a ball. These are the dresses you see. They even offer bridal, so we're gonna jump into bridal real quick just to dabble in there and then we're gonna get out of there because we're gonna get stuck in here. Again, the pricing, it hurts, but these are bridal dresses, so it's not that bad. You've seen $10,000 dresses on Say Yes to the Dress. These are two grand or one grand. And the $890 one is actually not that bad. This one's $890. I'm just saying, I know they have sales on Black Friday. I think it's like 20% off or 10% off or 30% off. So if you're going for a bridal dress, save up and go on Black Friday and here you are. These are fun. They're fun, fun, but I like I like this one, the little red, the little poking out. I love this little silhouette. I think you could tell in the other dresses on Fairy Tongue that this silhouette is just what gets me. That's kind of what's in for me right now. I feel like if I were to get married within the next year, it would have to be something like this. The little frills and like princess, I love it. But what really caught my eye was this one. I said it before, I'll say it again, I love sleeves. Sleeves are a moment and they add drama and look at this drama, it's just so gorgeous. I usually hate polka dots, but this just works very well. The little frills right here and here. It's not clashing with the bodice, but it's actually making it much more dramatic. This person delivered and did an upload shot on the beading. Look at this. If you're asking yourself why something costs so much on a dress, this is where it, where it comes from. This is beading that is done individually onto the dress. And like, this is the little material I was talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna have a new rule in right now just because we need to go a little faster. And that is, I'm not clicking on anyone. You just will just have to see for yourselves. But for example, this one, I'm breaking my rule. I'm clicking on it because look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are sparkles. A busty year. A few months ago, I was looking at dresses here and for the latest, for that season, the latest season, which is referring to that season, I didn't like any of the dresses I saw. So it's really refreshing to see these new designs coming up and I like them a lot more than when I saw a few months ago. What caught my eye was this one. If, oh wow. Tell me this is not dramatic. I'm a sleeve girl and I like the long sleeves too. A few months ago, I was telling myself and trying to make the perfect excuse, you know, give myself a reason to buy one of these dresses because I just love their design, her design so much. They're just so beautiful. This one's very dark, villainous vibes right there. Anyways, and I just can't get myself to justify this purchase quite yet because again, we're in a pandemic and the last thing I need is for a dress to be stuck in my closet for the next three years and not wear it and just let it ruin. Anyways, the price ranges here are actually quite large. I've seen some dresses on here for $400. And I've seen some dresses on here for like two to three grand. So honestly, just take your time and even just sort it out if you need to, to figure out where you're at. This was the one that I thought was just absolutely gorgeous. And it's just that perfect dusty blue. It has the cape, which come on a cape. When do you get capes lately? I love capes. Sleeves are a moment, but capes, that is the scene I want. It even has a little dramatic leg sleeve, so if I wanted to kick somebody, I can. Aha, okay, I found it. It took me a minute. This dress, it didn't go viral, but it did get really popular back when it was released. And it's like the little heart dress. It was this and in pink as well. This one was really cute. I Again, this is the one I was thinking about, but I couldn't really justify if pretend purchasing. That's really the truth. I don't buy it. I just pretend buy it in my head. And I couldn't justify that one. <laughs> The little heart reflections. I, there's some photos, I think. 
Ooh, they actually have several colors. That's nice. Um, if I were to rate this store, this website out of 10, 11 out of 10, but I am just severely biased because I am in love with her designs. These are the dresses I, if I were going down a red carpet, I would commission her. If I needed to get married, I would commission her. Even though I'm gonna be a designer myself, I should be making my own dress, but again, I'm very biased. <laughs> Those are the dresses. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these dresses like with me. I, I am a severe dress fanatic. I love dresses so much. I think they're just adorable and to wear one of these would be a dream. If anybody wants to sponsor me, I am here. But as it is right now, I am unsponsored. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was really fun for me. I loved, I forgot how much I love talking about dresses, but this really opened my eyes up. I really love talking about dresses. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. If you want to see more websites that you haven't seen before of dresses, or you want me to do my own research to bring you more dress websites, or just want to see more dresses with me and just pretend we don't buy dresses, we can play that game too, because it's my favorite game to play. Thank you for watching. Bye.